Okay, we've got a wordy question, and the first thing to do is to recognize the situation. So we've got the uh, period containing 10 lessons, and um, he might be late or not. And what we're doing is we're looking at how many times he is late. So we're counting the number of times he's late in a total of 10 lessons. So we're counting successes in an independent trials. Uh, the question doesn't say it's independent, uh, but that is a necessary assumption. We need to assume that because the situation where, where we're counting successes in n independent trials is going to be binomial. So x is going to twiddle a binomial. You need to suss out the values of n and p. n is the number of trials. p is the probability that he's late on any particular lesson. Okay, and then this is like the previous question on the homework. We just need to turn of the, turn these into, um, probabilities we can look up. So for, for part A, we need the probability that X is uh, exactly three, but we aren't going to look up that directly. We always use, remember, binomial CD rather than binomial PD. So uh, I recommend that you list all the outcomes, starting with naught, two, three, four, because we're interested in outcomes near three, up to the maximum, write in the value of N at the end there. We want to be three, we don't want to be two, we want to be four. So have a box that includes everything you want, plus some things you don't, and then take away a box for what you don't want. So tell me you're doing a probability, tell me which probability it is. It's going to be X less than or equal to something, minus which other probability. OK, uh, look up these values on your calculator, subtract them and get the answer. And something similar should work for all of the rest. Always start with this list of the values, put boxes. Sometimes it will just be one box. Watch out for words like fewer. Fewer means that we're not allowed to have three lessons, so make sure that three isn't in your box. At least means that it's five or more, which means that five is in your box. So if you've got four, five, six, dot, 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 down to naught, you're going to be boxing. You're going to say, yes, I can be five. Yes, I can be six. No, I can't be four. So if your box is like this, it means you're going to have to look up the other side, the values you want to take away. So on part C, you're going to be doing a one minus the probability and make sure you tell me what probability that's going to be. Look up the probability on the calculation and do the subtraction. OK, um, so all of these, are, the others are just variations on that theme until you get to part F, where they want you to, to say the mean and the variance. So you have formulas for the uh, expectation, in other words, the mean of a binomial. It's got N and P in it, and you've got a formula for the variance of a binomial. That's got N and P in it too. OK, check whether you want the standard deviation or the variance. This is the variance, so you do not need to square that variance formula. So that should help on that one, I hope.